So I just have a few, a few questions for you. Um, we'll start with the first one. It is, how does your current platform accommodate for what is, in your opinion, the most pressing issue that students of your college face? Uh, students of my college right now, uh, of course, right now it would likely be the coronavirus. Uh, it creates a whole, whole another level of complexity to our already pretty uh, complicated learning system. Um, and right now there's a lot of, uh, well, BCOE and UCR has a, a really high percentage of researchers. And now so many of those researchers have to continue remotely. Um, and that's really unfortunate because there's a lot of work being done that can't continue in the same way it has. Thank you. And then how do you plan on connecting with students to remedy these issues? Uh, so for that, um, I suppose the, there are very few things to be done about that outside of uh, more regulated meetings. Um, but that is mostly up to their own labs. Uh, for schools and for, I mean, individual classrooms. Um, some of the professors that I have have already arranged for uh, sort of uh, groups that can study together uh, remotely. And I think that's a great idea and something that uh, should definitely be done by more professors and more by the school. Great, thank you. Um, this next question is about ACCR. So it says ACCR's reputation has been not the best over the years. How do you individually plan on fixing this image problem? And is it something that can be fixed in only a year? I definitely believe it is. Um, firstly, I believe the issue is mostly people working towards self-service. And uh, for senators, it's not an insane amount of money that we're uh, stipend, but I don't think that it should be increased by very much more because this isn't uh, something we should be doing for money. Uh, this isn't something anyone should be uh, seeking to gain from financially or uh, primarily for their resume, which is uh, something that I've heard. Um, so uh, unfortunately, I heard even when I was uh, chit chatting with some of the other candidates, uh, I'm not going to say who nor uh, um, what uh, position they were running for. But I was really disappointed that it didn't take much for me to figure out that's why they were running. And I think that mostly that is um, something preventing that. And when people like that do present uh, things as they had, um, and as Orlando uh, very well contested with his proposition, um, we should continue to push back against self-service. Great, uh, thank you. So my next question kind of goes into that. Um, how will you as a senator with your exclusive right to vote act to avoid undue influence and to prevent abuses of power on the part of the executive cabinet members and the president? Um, well, firstly, I would say that I'm not uh, necessarily too close to any of the candidates. So I don't really have any uh, buddying up with anyone else uh, from the executive board. And I feel I am pretty objective in seeing what is necessary and what is just a luxury or what is exactly self-service. And of course, I would never act uh, in a way that benefited a person on the executive board over the students that we are supposed to represent. Thank you. Um, so besides the students of your college, BCOE, what other groups of students do you hope to represent and reach out to? Uh, Hispanic students. I, I'm a Hispanic student and we make up a huge uh, fraction of uh, UCR's population and I feel like um, it's a great platform for so many other people to join. Um, it, I am a part of a SHIP, Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers at UCR, and it's just uh, always so helpful to see someone else in a position that I would like to rise to. Uh, that has had similar of uh, background as I do. Um, so it was always so inspiring to see these first generation Hispanic engineers uh, go to be uh, professionals at Boeing or Raytheon and uh, really uh, reputable and um, well successful companies uh, or even uh, create success in their own smaller companies and startup companies. 
and I would like to sort of uh, reflect that in my uh, ASUCR position should I achieve it. Great, thank you. Um, how do you plan to connect with Costo Hall? In your position as a senator, how will you work and include Costo Hall organizations in the governing process? Uh, Costo Hall is hugely important and I feel like it's an under, uh, underutilized resource for so many students. Um, and of course, uh, they would have my support. Um, I, there have been attempts to cut back at their funding and I think that that's uh, totally the wrong way to go. Great, thank you. Um, so this is actually my last question. One of the most important roles of a senator is to communicate with their constituents. What experience do you have in communication roles and what would your party do to reach out to the student body? Awesome, that's a great question. Um, well, firstly, I feel like we are quite a big community. Uh, we're 2,500 people, but uh, I feel like a lot of people know each other very well. And um, I, I feel like having a connection to so many of those people would help me to speak to them and for uh, all of the involvement that I've had with uh, the LC board, with other professional orgs in BCOE would really help me, um, have given me a platform for them to hear me and for uh, better communication between ASUCR, which is something that we're a little bit uh, further off from than the other colleges. Great, thank you. Um, so is there any like final remarks you wanna say or tell students about your campaign? Uh, well, I am very pro sustainability and I know we can't become uh, carbon neutral overnight, although uh, I suppose the impact the school has had is diminished, of course, for these reasons, but that's not something that will uh, slow down climate change significantly. And it's just a drop in a huge ocean of water uh, in the end. So um, what, what I would say is uh, please stay inside and uh, I would definitely recommend uh, trying to go a little greener and a little more sustainable as uh, will be reflected in my um, uh, election and in my position, should I choose. All right, thank you so much, Leonardo, for participating today and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, I really appreciate that, thank you. Bye.